know the term when they say she's lost the baby? I, I don't think that's a great term because I was thinking, well, I know exactly where the baby is. I didn't lose it. And I also didn't do anything per se that made this baby pass away. So I think uh, how we talk about it maybe insinuates a little bit of she lost the baby. There are so many, many reasons why you could lose a pregnancy and so often there's no reason that can be identified for it. So for a woman to feel shame or guilt or to be made to feel that way is unacceptable. I had an immediate family saying, you know, you were too involved in kapahaka. You were too involved in um, going to the gym in the morning, babe. You, you weren't looking after yourself. And then, then you start to wonder, actually, was I? People are always under the impression that obviously that they've done something as a result of which they have miscarried. But most of the miscarriages are because of some chromosomal problems in the baby. So there is nothing that the patient does which can miscarry. The causes of miscarriages are mostly, I would say, unknown. I mean, I think that we have some theories around it. So it potentially could be divided into issues with the baby, issues with the mum, and then outside factors that can contribute. The most common identifiable cause is the egg not dividing when it's fertilised in a chromosomally stable way, and so getting additional chromosomes or missing chromosomes, which the body then recognises is not right, and the pregnancy will only progress to a certain point. Other times it can be for the mother, so that perhaps she's got some kind of metabolic disorder, there's hormone balances that aren't right in the pregnancy. It could also be that the woman has what we term an incompetent cervix, which is somebody who experiences the fact that their cervix doesn't remain closed and hold a pregnancy in the womb. And that's often quite tricky because it um, creates a sense of failure in the mums, and, and I think the terminology that we use enhances that a little bit. すごく、うん、自分が Immigrants like us, we are coming from a different culture. Um, one challenge that I particularly had was trying to balance it within myself. What I learned from my country of origin and what I learned from my new home in New Zealand. So the conception around early pregnancy in, in our culture is that you don't do anything, you just rest, you go to your mom's place, they cook, they look after you, you don't even carry your shopping bag. Here, it's like, you're pregnant, you're not ill, you just go on with your life and this will help you with pregnancy. When I miscarried, I blamed myself a lot, thinking that, you know, um, all of that, maybe I should have had rest, maybe I shouldn't do this, maybe I shouldn't do that. I remember packing, packing our bags and he told me not to do any heavy lifting and to take things easy. Me wanting to get things done, I just did it anyway. And then I started spotting. I felt a lot of guilt, especially because he had just, the coincidence of the events that happened prior and him telling me not to do anything, that he'll take care of it. I have yet to sit with a parent who's lost a baby who hasn't gone through the what if. So if I didn't hang the washing, if I didn't lift that heavy box, if I didn't move the furniture, um, if I hadn't gone swimming, you know. Um, and so 
I think all of those what ifs that people come up with are not known to cause a miscarriage. So, so most of the time you can quite confidently to say to a parent that this is not their fault. There's nothing that they've done to cause this to happen. I think hopefully reassuring for women to know that the vast, vast majority of miscarriages are kind of nature's way of saying this is a, a fetus or an embryo or a very, very, very early baby that was never going to be healthy enough to continue to full term. So it's nothing that they did, it's nothing that their body did, it was just the kind of makeup of the baby in the beginning. We never thought it was our fault. We, no. we just accepted the fact that it does probably, happen. Yeah, it does happen and it was probably that there was something wrong with the baby. Many of this guilt, um, feeling of guilt, feeling of shame, um, they are coming from lack of information. So if we are allowed to talk about it, uh, we can also share information 